Hi, welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today I am unboxing Christmas Gnome Trio from Diamond Art Club. So normally at this point I would be talking about the branded Diamond Art Club uh, box with the logo Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle, diamondartclub.com, Instagram at Diamond Art Club, Facebook Diamond Art Club. But today, this is an empty box because I actually got this diamond painting in, I think it was January, and this is now September. And I had actually ordered uh, a couple of diamond paintings. So it is already out of the main box. Um, the story behind this one is I saw it. Um, at the end of 2022 it came out and I thought my wife would love this Christmas diamond painting. So I tried to order it and it was already out of stock so I waited until it came back in stock and I ordered it as soon as I got the email saying it was in and I managed to get it. Just before I recorded this video I checked the Diamond Art Club website and it is currently out of stock. So maybe it'll be in in time for Christmas, I don't know. So it's been sitting for a long time. Um, I bought it for my wife for Christmas um, and then it turned into buying it for her birthday, which was in February. And she said, it's okay, I'm still working on stuff. I, I don't need to do it right now, plus we're past Christmas. So she very kindly said, you can keep it and do an unboxing. So now we're at September, getting a bit closer to December, a year late. But um, so this is it, and as I said, it's called Christmas Gnome Trio, and we have a thumbnail on the box, and then it tells us the size. It's uh, 30 inches by 22 inches, which is 76 centimeters by 56 centimeters. So. Quite a, a narrowish one for Diamond Art Club, and it is round drills, and we know that because we see the pink circle. If it had been squares, it would be a blue square. It also says round diamonds, but from a distance you can tell um, straight away it is round. So this is the standard inner box. As I said, normally the box is inside the box, but. Um, I'd already opened this to do another review. So just have a quick look at it. So we have on the back the Diamond Art Club step-by-step uh, -step instructions on how to diamond paint, a list of the kit contents as well, and um, that is pretty much it. A little um, choking hazard um, because of the small pieces. Don't leave with children. So we'll uh, just get down to the nitty gritty if I can find my scissors. So no problems cutting this because it's just uh, cellophane. Says he, try not to scratch the box. So the box is sealed, keep dust out. And take this off. So we'll just uh, straight into the box and see what we've got. So the first thing is the toolkit. So this is the Diamond Art Club toolkit in the yellow sachet and um, reusable and recyclable. Then it gives us a list of the contents. Um, Toolkit contents, applicator times one, comfort grip times one, heart shaped wax container times one, craft tray times one, tray stopper times one, multiplacer times two, cover minder times one, washi tape times one, ziplock baggies. So quite a lot in this toolkit. So we'll open it up and see what I pull out first this time. The baggies, we'll do them last. I always count them. But we'll do that last. Um, 
pen. So we have an orange diamond painting pen. Um, these are standard pens, it's just the colour is different. The length and diameter of the straw is exactly the same as the rest. Most companies you would get a pink straw, but Diamond Art Club um, do various colours. So um, it's always a bit of a surprise when you open it um, to, to see which colour of pen you've got this time. So in this case it's orange, not sure I've got an orange one. Um, the other thing is they have the squishy that I'm trying to get out without pulling everything else. Nearly there. The squishies um, are colour coordinated so because we've got an orange pen, we've got an orange squidgy and these slide on over the pen and um, they can take a bit of effort to get there but basically you slide them up onto the pen so when you're using the pen you've got this um, thicker diameter and it's soft and spongy so it makes it a bit more comfortable to hold um, especially for people who have got problems with their hands um, holding narrow things for any length of time this uh, cushioning and extra uh, width on the pen can make things more comfortable I'm not going to waste time trying to push it on but the thing is because it's so tight once you get it on um, it won't slide off so it's actually better to be like this if it was loose you would find that as you were working the, the squidgy would start to slide down the pen so um, just takes a bit of effort to get on the tube so that's the pen then we'll get the wax I think we'll go for so this is uh, Diamond Art Club's wax box um, heart shaped box opens up and we get two pieces of pink wax, heart shaped. Diamond Art Club have always done the heart shape. Uh, other companies tend to do squares or rectangles, some do circles, but Diamond Art Club have always done the hearts. So pink wax in the little case which helps to keep dust off it and hairs, helps to stop the wax from drying out as well, so handy little thing to have. Then we'll go for the washi tape I think. So this is the washi tape, um, it's always random what you get, I wasn't sure if this would be a Christmassy one but it doesn't seem to be, I'm trying to see what it says, it says kiss you, so this would be more a Valentine's Day one, but um, black and uh, dark red. Washi tape, um, some people use it to put around the borders of the diamond painting where the glue um, extends past the picture and when you're working on it you tend to stick your hand on it um, and it, it builds up um, dust and fluff and pet hairs and things tend to stick to it so um, a lot of people use it just to keep that clean so when they finish the diamond painting they can peel it off and everything looks nice and new um, or if it matches the picture, sometimes people would frame it with the washi tape around it. So um, that is the washi tape. Then we have the diamond painting tray. I really like uh, Diamond Art Club's tray because it has the straight sides. Um, I talk about this every time because I'm always conscious that people who are new might be watching. So. Most companies give trays that have got angled sides and it means that when you put the tray down, if you accidentally hit it with your hand or lean on it, the tray will tip over. Um, Diamond Art Club don't do that. They have straight edges so it, it doesn't tip anywhere near as easily. It's also bigger than the trays you normally get, it's wider, so it makes it more stable as well and it's got the spout so you can pour your drills into containers easily and it also has a stopper so you can put this in when you're shaking your tray your drills won't um, accidentally slide out the end 
because the stopper is there. Um, not something that you'll see on most uh, kits from other companies. In fact, I can't think of any that I've uh, reviewed who have a stopper. Not off the top of my head anyway, I don't think so. But Diamond Dart Club have the stopper, which is good, so they're obviously thinking a, a bit more in front, especially the straight edges, um, a big plus um, as far as I'm concerned. Nice to see a company stepping away from what everybody else does. Um, then we have the multi-placers. If you are working on a diamond painting that has a lot of one colour in an area, instead of placing one drill at a time with the pen, um, you can put the multi-placer in the end of the pen, fill the little channel with uh, pink wax, put some drills in your tray, give it a shake, get the drills in a line, you can pick up a little row and place them um, at one time. So it speeds things up, instead of doing one at a time, you can do a few at a time. If it's a bigger area, you can use the bigger one. Again, just take one out, push one in, so you can do uh, more. So a handy way to do diamond paintings faster, if that's what you want to do. So two multiplacers included as well. And then we have the cover minder. And in this case, it's a flower. And for people who don't know what a cover minder is, um, basically it can be any shape, it can be anything that has a little magnet glued to the back and then you have an extra magnet and what you do is when you get your clear cover that is over the canvas if you peel it back so you can work it tends to flip back down again so if you put your uh, spare or loose magnet underneath your canvas and then you fold your uh, clear cover back and you put this on top the magnets click together and it holds the clear cover back so that is what a cover minder is they come in various uh, shapes and colors designs and um, again this is absolutely random you don't know what you're going to get until you open the bag and uh, a lot of people collect them so I don't have this one so it's a, a new one to my collection a little pink flower and then finally we have the baggies that you can use to store spare drills when you've finished your diamond painting you'll have extra drills you can put them in these bags put the dmc code on the bag so you know exactly what color it is and you can keep them and um, if you work on a future kit with round drills and uh, you run out of a color if you have some spares from this um, you can use those drills in the kit um, so you, you don't need to wait on uh, Diamond Art Club sending you new drills. So um, always handy to keep them and I always count them. Um, I did a review of one just a few days ago and I think I got four bags. Diamond Art Club tend to be in the region of 25 but um, I'll, I'll check it. I always do so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three counting the one that came in twenty four so near enough twenty five so 25 resealable bags they can come in handy for drills or other little bits and pieces you can seal them so they, nothing falls out you just pop them open so that is it 24 was it i said 24 little bags so that is the toolkit pretty comprehensive um i don't think any other company supplies more if the kit had been square drills, I would have had a set of good quality tweezers as well. But when you have uh, round, kit, uh, round drills, you don't get tweezers. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'll just move this out of the way. Then we can have a look at what else is in the box.
Okay, so pull the canvas out and we have the sealed bag again to keep any dust out. Then we have the Diamond Art Club Do What Makes You Sparkle and uh, we'll open this up and have a look at what's inside. And just uh, pull us back. It is actually stuck. Um, it's not really a resealed thing. So take the canvas out. As I always mentioned, Diamond Art Club have the best diamond painting canvas. It is very soft, um, almost velvety on the back, very pliable, um, it doesn't crease easily. When you roll it out, it will tend just to lay flat, so you don't need to put books on top and all that sort of thing that you might with other companies. Um, the canvas will just go flat itself. So um, minimal uh, work required to get it to lay flat. But before we actually look at the canvas, we'll look at what's inside the canvas. So we have a thank you leaflet. Thank you for your purchase. A little bit about Diamond Art Club. Then we have uh, what's included in your kit in three different languages. We have tips and tricks for your project. So we have a little piece about um, Diamond Art Club release paper, which is not included in the kit, you would need to buy that separately. Uh, they talk about the checkerboard technique, the pre-cut sticker labels that we'll talk about in a bit, uh, multiplacer tool that we had a look at, colour blocking, which you use your multiplacer to do, and then the washi tape as well. Then we have a 10% discount off your next purchase. Then if you're totally new to diamond painting, there is a scan code, you can scan this and you can watch video on how to diamond paint, which is always a good idea. Um, I would also suggest that you just go on YouTube if you're new and just search diamond painting for beginners, how to diamond paint, that sort of thing. You'll find a lot of videos and it, it makes things a lot easier, you understand it better if you've actually watched somebody do it and they're explaining what they're doing. So when you get your first kit, um, you know what you're going to do with the pink wax and that sort of thing. Then we have a scan code for the VIP Facebook group. This is an exclusive group. Um, only people who have bought diamond paintings um, from Diamond Art Club can join. And all of the pictures that you'll see in the group are of Diamond Art Club diamond paintings. So you'll see uh, completed ones, you'll see ones in progress, and it just gives you an idea of what they actually look like rather than looking just at the canvas. So really good group, over 30,000 members and uh, very helpful if you're new. Um, very social as well, a bit of fun in there. So um, I definitely recommend that you join it. And then we have step-by-step uh, -step instructions again, how to diamond paint, six easy steps. And last but not least, we have the scan code for the Diamond Art Club app. If you download the app and you buy something, your first purchase you will get 20% discount, which is a nice discount. So um, definitely worth getting that one. 20% um, off is always good. So that's the little uh, booklet. And we'll see what else we can find in here. Okay, so we've got the drills and we've got something else. So the something else is actually the key or the legend and the thing about Diamond Art Club is these are pre-cut sticky labels so you can use them to put on your containers uh, rather than having to write or try and draw symbols you can just peel these off stick them on your container and uh, then you're ready to fill the containers up with the drills and get started. Um, a large thumbnail this time, so we get a good sized thumbnail so we can really see what the image is and um, the name is Christmas Gnome Trio by Laurie Fornell and you can put the start date and end date if you want to keep a note of that you can use this um, and that is pretty much it so 
pre-cut labels, really nice. Um, I have seen other companies starting to do it, but Diamond Art Club were the first company. Um, and they always say that, um, what is it they call it? Mimicry is the a sign of something. I can't remember what it is. But um, yeah, they, they were the first ones to do it. Other companies have seen the benefit and some, a few companies have started to do the same thing. Um, so we have 55 colours in this one. We can see it's numbered 1 to 55, so we know 55 colours. Then we have the symbols that you'll see on the canvas. Then we have the colour code, which is the DMC code. DMC code is a number that is a specific colour or a specific shade of a colour. Um, the one that I normally talk about is 310, but I noticed there's no 310 in this. So 310 DMC code is black. No black in this diamond painting. It's very seldom that happens, but uh, no black in this one. Um, really nice. I, I really like it. I mean, I bought it for my wife and she's going to love it, but if, uh, if I hadn't bought it for her, I would have bought it for me. Um, just a, a real fun, colourful picture to hang in the wall around Christmas time. Um, very cartoonish, which will work very well. Um, a lot of areas sort of blocky, solid or nearly solid. Um, so it helps to speed things up as well. But it just looks really good. We've got um, the, the three little characters here. And then we've got the, uh, the holly and the berries as well. Um, just really nice Christmas uh, picture, I think. And uh, this little guy's got the Christmas bauble. Then we've got the, the candy. And then we've got a little Christmas tree with the star on top. Uh, two little red birds. Um, I'm guessing red cardinals. I don't know. We don't have them in Denmark. But um, yeah, really, really nice little picture. So that is the key. And then I'm thinking there's something missing. Maybe. Maybe not. No, can't see anything else in there. So these are the drills. Uh, they come in a sealed bag. Has a glue strip along the side. Just peel that back before I open it. The other thing is you have a label and it says Christmas Gnome Trio. So you know that you've got um, the proper drills for the kit. So no problem there. So we'll take the drills out. Have a look at them. <coughs> so the first two I picked up are green. So um, these are round as I said. I'm so used to them being square. It's, uh, it's a bit of a novelty to see rounds uh, in Diamond Rat Club. But um, very vibrant colours. Just checking the, the drills are free moving in the bag, they're not clumping together. I don't see any signs of static. Sometimes you'll get static in the bag. I noticed these bags have got little holes punched in them, so I don't know if that is uh, to try and stop the static. But we'll have a look at the colours. So, all right, okay, we have E310, so there is black. Um, I've never noticed that. So we have this uh, special 310 and I can't really see the difference. I would need to do, I think I'll do a separate video um, and we'll have a close up look at the E310s to see how they compare to normal 310s. So just skimming through the colours, obviously we're going to get a lot of uh, Christmas colours. We've got ABs here, um, Aurora Borealis. These are drills that have a special coating on them. When the light hits them at different angles, it reflects different colours. So instead of just seeing white, um, I can see gold, red, green, yellow, blue, purple. Just depends how the light hits them at an angle. Um, it's a really, really nice effect. And some yellow, a bit more. And then we get to the Christmas colours, the red, green, white, more red. And we've got to these ones as well. Not a lot of uh, drills in these bags. 
So another AB, a blue AB there. So again, reflects different colours. I'm getting sort of purple and gold and green, even though the drills are blue. And more. And the last string, the more reds and greens and yellow. Nice green, I like the, the bright green. Another AB again, orange one this time. So quite a lot of bags with a few drills. Um, but everything looks fine. I don't see any problems with the static or anything. The bags aren't resealable as you can see, um, but they're a good size bag so you can cut them and fold them over and put a piece of tape on them and work like that if you don't have any kind of storage and that'll work fine. <coughs> but the colours as always with Diamond Art Club are very vibrant. Um, you can see this red 666 number of lava red. Uh, that is the official name of this shade of red, Lava Red. And then some uh, really uh, bold greens as well. So everything looks absolutely fine, which is absolutely what I would expect from Diamond Art Club. They also manufacture their own drills as well, so they have total control over the quality, um, which definitely shows um, they are very, very nice drills. So now we get down to the canvas and see if I can get it the right way up. So roll it out so we can see the key down the side. 1 to 55, so 55 colours. And we'll open it up. We'll see the three little guys. Very, very Christmassy. So uh, yeah, really nice. So I think this works very well because it's uh, so bold, the, the colours are bold, um, very very Christmassy with the, the red, white and green. I like these little strips of different colours just to give a little bit of interest as well. But um, really really nice diamond painting. Poured glue so we don't have any problems with uh, air bubbles or anything, the glue is poured onto the canvas so it's absolutely flat. Um, we have the clear cover to stop anything sticking to the glue, but if I, I peel it back and just touch it, very, very sticky, and that's exactly what you want. So I think what we'll do now is we'll have a close-up look at the actual print quality, see how easy it is to read the symbols, do we have any faded print, missing print, double print, anything like that. Um, which I'm, I'm not expecting, but we'll have a closer look and see how it looks. So I thought we'd have a close-up look at the little guy in the middle. So just basically scrolling down and we're just looking to see how easy it is to, to read the symbols. Do we have any problems? Um, do we have any blurred areas? Um, anything that's difficult to read? No problems at all. Um, you can see everything is absolutely perfect, very clear, won't have any problems. Um, the white mark that you see moving down here is just the light reflecting on the, the clear cover. I haven't taken it off. Um, I wouldn't recommend taking the cover off um, because you're just asking for dust and pet hairs and things to stick to the glue. So I've still got the cover on, but we can still see um, how good the print quality is. No problems reading this at all. But uh, we get a, a nice close up and we can see the symbols. Um, very easy to read. So just coming down to the bottom. And uh, that's his little shoes. Very nicely trimmed beard. Maybe I should try and get that done for Christmas but um, yeah you can see no problems at all nice and clear so we're just coming down to that multicoloured border I like that it just adds a little bit something a little bit different 
um, just these these other colours being added in. So yeah, looks really really nice. Um, I'm actually quite jealous that my wife is doing this one. So that was Christmas Gnome Trio from Diamond Dark Club. Um, the E310, that was bugging me. Uh, I know that Diamond Art Club do what they call electro drills and I thought, I wonder if it's that. So I looked it up and I found out that E310 is glow in the dark. So glow in the dark black drills, um, which sounds very different. So I will be doing a little video about Diamond Art Club's E310s so people can have a look at them and we can see if they really do glow in the dark. So yeah, Diamond Dark Club, as expected, very, very nice quality canvas, very, very good quality drills. They are resin drills. As I said, Diamond Dark Club now manufacture their own drills, so they have total control over the quality, um, which is exceptionally high. Um, the actual image, really like it a lot. I am jealous that my wife will be doing this one. Um, she is going to absolutely love this. Whether she manages to get it done in time for Christmas because she's actually just started another Diamond Art Club um, and it's going to take quite a while. So this may actually be for uh, Christmas 2024, the way things are going. Um, but really, really nice. Um, I'm sure everybody is going to enjoy this one um, during the holiday season in 2024. But um, yeah, really nice. Um, cartoony things, I'm not a massive fan, even though I've got Batman in the background, we'll ignore that. Um, but this just appeals, it's nice, it's just nice and clean. Uh, not a lot of detail in it. But very, very festive, bright colours, what you want at Christmas time, cheer everybody up. So, yeah, I am jealous. So, that was it. Um, I'm say goodbye to the little guys. They'll probably go back in their box until next year. Um, but you never know. Um, she might finish the one she's working on and decide to try and get this one done for Christmas. It isn't huge. Um, but it is a good size diamond painting. The fact that it doesn't have a lot of detail, it means it could get done quite quickly. The fact that it is round drills as well will definitely speed things up. We have both got used to doing square drills, which take more time. Um, so I don't know. Uh, this is September. She might, she might. So we'll see. Um, she isn't in at the moment, so I'll leave this out on the table and she can have a look at it and then uh, she can decide if she's going to try and do it for 2023. But um, that is it. Very, very nice diamond painting. Really like this one. Um, I, I might be allowed to put it up on the wall uh, for a little bit at Christmas, maybe, if I'm lucky. So that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and hit the notification button. If you do that, you will catch new videos as they come out. Um, I have quite a few things to unbox, unbag, compare, talk about, test. So if you're interested in anything to do with diamond painting, uh, as I said, please subscribe. If you hit the notification button, um, you will get a little message when any new videos come up. You will also get a message if I go live on YouTube Live, which I do now and again. Um, and uh, we usually have quite a bit of fun. I always enjoy talking to other diamond painters around the world, learning a little bit about where they are in the world. I am originally from Scotland, as you can probably tell from the accent. I now live in Copenhagen, capital city of Denmark. I found it quite interesting uh, moving here, uh, just the, the differences in culture. Um, licorice cheese was a bit different, and licorice beer and licorice ice cream. Danes like licorice. So anyway, uh, that's enough of that. Thanks for watching, and in the meantime, take care, be safe, and wash your hands.